everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with this month's installment of Work the Line. It's where Rachel Reynolds and I each take a line and we make a layout with it. So this month, we both have cho we've chosen to use Dear Lizzie Stargazer, which is her newest collection. Now I'm going to use that navy polka dot paper, which is called Marigold. And I loved that with the idea the idea for the background for that. And then I wanted something to mat the photo with, so I chose that kind of minty plaid paper. It's called Cruisin'. Now this heart paper is a paper that Rachel and I both have talked about how much we absolutely love that wood grain heart. So I wanted to make sure that I used it. And I was planning on using a much bigger chunk that it ends up to be, but you know, nonetheless, it still is a chunk of paper. So that wood grain heart paper is called Blissful. Now I just used a cut apart there. I cut a piece from the cut apart sheet and I did not tell you what the name of that is. I'm sorry. If you need to know what the name of that cut apart sheet is, just um, leave me a comment and I'll get it for you. But I didn't write it down and I'm nowhere near my scrapbook room um, recording this. So we'll move on. All right, now I cut that sheet of blue floral paper and I loved that blue and white floral paper. So that is called Fresh Picked. And right behind that, I have that mint kind of florally paper as well. That is called Dream. And I'm going to just cut two smaller strips of that instead. You know, sometimes I'll just uh, put the paper behind and use it and all is good. But in this particular case, I really wanted to save that minty colored florally paper there. So I uh, just cut the two strips. So I'm going to use my beloved Memento Dewdrop in gray flannel. And that's just going to ink the edges. I'm almost out of it and I couldn't remember where I bought it and today I finally remembered. So unfortunately it's in a town that's um, about an hour away from me that I don't get to more than probably once a month or so. So I might order it online. I might just, um, you know, make my way there the next time I'm there. I should be there probably in early November. Um, which by the time you see this, well, actually, <laughs> you will see this November 1st. I'll be there at some point in November. Anyway, so I'm cutting my papers into boxes, which you see me do all the time, and then I'm going to use that cut apart to house my journaling for this particular layout. And it's just going to be like a who, what, where, when, and why. And what this is, that photo is a really precious photo to me. Um, it happened in August. That is my mom on the bottom left there, and then my dad's brother and his sister and their spouses, so my aunts and uncles. My dad passed away 10 years ago. Um, and so he's not here, but I just love still seeing them together and seeing that they still have a loving, caring relationship, even though my dad is gone. And these aunts and uncles are very special to me, um, just in general. So, and we don't get photos of them all that often, much less all of them together like that. So I wanted to make sure this got documented. And I love the papers. Unfortunately, lots of them were wearing blue or turquoisey shades, so how nice that it works so well with this particular collection. Now, I've glued the top strip on and I decided I wanted to use some sort of border punch on the bottom strip, and that is a uh, scallop. It's the Swiss Dot Fisker's Punch, which is an old punch and just does a scallop with the dot in it. And I, it's a little bit girly, but you know, so are the floral papers on here. One thing, by the way, I wanted to say about the floral papers is that minty floral paper and the navy floral paper are almost exactly the same scale, and which means large or small designs, large, medium, small designs. I would almost never use two, these are kind of a medium scale design, two medium scale designs together like that. I might do it on the same layout, but definitely not laying against each other. But in this particular case, I did it because the minty colored paper is really a tone on tone paper. So you really don't, you read it as a faux solid, basically. You don't really read it as the pattern that it is. 
So that's why I'm using this and just something for you to be aware of that you want to combine different scales. And I guess maybe, you know, looking at the back of that mint paper, that's probably more of a medium scale versus a really large scale. And that little, the little heart, wood grain heart paper is a tiny little one. Now, actually, you know, when I think about the fact that I only use the small piece of wood grain heart is nice because I still have more left. So now I'm going through the die cuts. So they're just called uh, die cut shapes for from the uh, Stargazer collection. And kind of trying to figure out what to want, I want to do. I have that little date tag there. I put on that um, little kind of gold colored circle that says you are magical. And then I found that ribbon and that says you're the best. So now I'm thinking that I maybe want to do my title right on that wood grain heart paper in that space at the bottom. Now I'm going to change my mind about that. I'm first looking at these Jelly Bean Soup Alpha Bean stickers to see if they will work. And then I decide I want to get my scallop circle down here. just to see how much room I would have for the title I'm thinking about. And I'm also going to pop this ribbon up t as well too. Because that will give me um, a little bit more dimension in that cluster as well. Now I, I'm sure this collection had um, had die cuts to go with it, or not die cuts, an alpha to go with it, because they usually do, but I didn't buy it. So I'm going to have to use an alpha from somewhere else. And I'm still kind of trying to figure out where I want that little uh, tag to go. And there it is finally. Now I'm thinking about using some sort of fray sticker or something. This is from another Dear Lizzie uh, collection here. They, it's, um, the Dear Lizzie Phrase and Letter Stickers, but I don't know what collection it's from. And they have a little bit of, they're not straight gold, they do have a little bit of a, almost a rose gold appearance, which is good because the gold in this is a little bit rose gold as well. So I found two stickers there that said Happy in Hearts, so I put that together. And then I put a little um, phrase sticker that says Today, up by the you're the best ribbon and then I have another one there that said fun and I put that up by the tag. Now I looked up and there was this Bella Boulevard flag up above my head in an embellishment basket I had so I am actually going to use this. It's too perfect not to go on this layout. I had one flag left here so I could have um, you know made this without and stuck it on later after I took all the photos but hey sometimes you just take the opportunity when you see it. Um, I really those flags I think I got them in a warehouse box last year and I haven't used this one yet so it works too perfectly not to. Now I also have the puffy stickers from the Stargazer collection and that uh, those puffy stickers are just called puffy stickers so that's where that bird came from and then I have these flowers here so I'm playing around with those and I put the flowers on the you are magical scallop there. So I kind of like how they just sort of all kind of coordinate it with colors and that kind of thing. So really the only things I bought from this this Stargazer collection was a bunch of the papers. I did buy a lot of those. I bought the die cuts and then I also bought the puffy stickers. Um, but I just, oh, I so, I so love this collection and I'm so glad that this works. So what I'm doing now is I'm using a chipboard alpha here and this glitter alpha is the American Crafts thickers in uh, and the font is called Macaw. It's a pretty large font and what I'm doing out is I'm spelling out theaters which is my maiden name actually um, and I didn't have a T so I'm going to MacGyver an F into a T and I decide you know I wonder if I could do theater family here, which, yeah, okay, not a lot of um, inspiration in that title, but it is what it is, right? 
and I decide that that's what I really want to do is kind of add that in and just see what it looks like. I also don't have any E's so I took a C and I'm going to do that. I'm going to use that to make the E. All right, so now I've decided, yep, I'm definitely going to do this. And I have to switch the placement. At least I kind of know where I want the letters to appear here. Even though they're not in the right order, the two words aren't in the right order. And I'm using my Scotch Tacky Glue in my fine line bottle just because these are chipboard and they weren't sticking all that well to begin with so I thought I better get that taken care of and there I go and now I'm just putting the word family down just to get the spacing right and you can see I'm able to move these around really easily so I really need to use that tacky glue on these letters they were sticking to the sheet pretty well but once I took them off they wouldn't have stuck at all. Now I have that journaling card above there. You're not going to see me journal on this. I did leave some of this information private. Um, so that will come later. And actually, now that I think about it, you actually probably get to see it in the um, in the uh, still and detail shots at the end. But oh well. <laughs> anyway. All right. So now I have those things down. And I'm looking at that one side of the T there, and it was a little bit long, so I decide I'm going to um, shorten it up a little bit. And I pulled my needle out um, kind of funny from that bottle, so I had to redo that. And now I'm remembering, oh yeah, that's right, I need to put in the little dots for the E. And see how great that looks? Yeah, you can tell that, you know, I MacGyvered the letter, but it's not that big of a deal. And now there's an E. And now there's actually two E's. All right, so I just tapped my tag up there to show you that I need to get some twine. And that is from We Are Memory Keepers. And then the one thing I did forget to tell you is about where that um, contraband Bella Boulevard flag came from. It's the Bella Boulevard uh, school flags. So that's where that came from. All right, so now I have that on. I'm just cutting my twine there to make it a little bit shorter. And upcoming is a still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back again with another layout again soon. Bye. I'm coming back on quickly for because I forgot to tell you something important. Check the description box because I'll put the link to Rachel's video there.